The United Nations has opened its annual conference on climate change in Madrid. The two-week event was supposed to take place in Chile, but was moved due to civil unrest in the country. COP25 is expected to lay the framework for a new phase of climate action from 2020. Ahead of the meeting, the UN chief stressed the importance of making key decisions as soon as possible so as to limit the emissions that cause global warming. Our Guy Henderson has more. Chile's not the venue now. It still takes on the presidency. These will be 12 crucial months for climate negotiators, starting now in Madrid. Es tiempo de actuar. The pledges made by countries in 2015 are not enough. We need to make new pledges that are more ambitious that include all aspects of climate action. Some 50 world leaders are expected here over the next two weeks or so, many of them under huge pressure to do far more than they're doing now. The UN says the world must be carbon neutral by 2050. It's way off track. The hosts of that landmark Paris meeting four years ago amongst those extending their commitments. In France, that happens, for example, via the decision we took, and which takes into effect in 2022, to close all of the coal power stations in the country. The highest profile U.S. delegate here is a Democrat, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who says there is still a way back from Donald Trump's decision to pull America out of those Paris Accords. For future generations. This is a mission. This is a passion. Uh, this is a scientifically based approach to all of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're here to say to all of you, on behalf of the House of Representatives and the Congress of the United States, we're still in it. We're still in it. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres laid humanity's options bare. At the end of the coming decade, we will be on one of two paths. One is the path of surrender where we have sleepwalked past the point of no return, jeopardizing the health and safety of everyone on this planet. Do we really want to be remembered as the generation that buried its head in the sand, that fiddled while the planet burned? The other option is the path of hope. Many of the faces that count are absent. They'll all need to come together at some point and on much more than a photo opportunity. Di Henderson, CGTN, Madrid.